friends, this is me again. Happy December the 3rd. Yes, it is the third Sunday. I already went to church and it is like eight days away from my birthday. So I thought I would share with you some goals I've got to try to accomplish, if not by my birthday, by the end of the month. So, which is the end of the year. Have you worked on any of your goals for this year? So, I'm in my, this room, I've been planning on like renting it out or housing a homeless person, but I, as you can see, I don't have a mattress for the frame and all that. But I thought for now I can work out in here, do a couple of videos, but I wanted to share with you. Let me get down here. Ooh, yeah, it's not the best place to do anything and I hope the sound is good and hopefully I want to redo this video because I'm going to show you my push-ups. I want you to evaluate my push-ups for me. I trust you guys to give me an honest opinion if my form is correct because my goal, I, I even got this graph paper soon I put down uh, on there, healthy, strong habits. Okay, so some healthy, strong habits to develop. You know, I still haven't accomplished my first unassisted pull-up, so that's one of the goals. Um, I may not be able to get it, but that's okay. I'm going to attempt. I have down, and I'm going to mark down for each day, coloring in. I'm a color type person, each block, that I do these things. Ten a, a pull-up attempts, and I'm going to use my pull-up bar here that I have, and 40 push-ups a day. So every day I'm going to work on, I'm not going to be able to do 40 push-ups at one time. You know, probably 5 to 10 max. Um, some crunches, do, I'll be 43. So I'm going to do, attempt uh, to do 43 minutes of cardio each day. And I got down some ideas about healthy eating habits because that's the key. It's all on how you're eating to get that abs in, you know, because all your food goes right there and, I kind of overdid it yesterday on carb. Once I take that first bite it's of a donut or something, it's it's over pretty much. It just seems like once it just draws you in. So it's best to avoid it as best as you can. But sometimes there's mistakes and it's okay to do it once in a while, just not every day. I don't really want to get down to 145. Uh, birthday, eight days away, so I'm going to be tracking my physical activities better, and I might try to track my macros this weekend. Is, is, is the lighting good? If it is, isn't, tell me, okay? I'm, I'm here for you. You tell me, okay? So, stay focused, stay positive. So, I'm going to go ahead. This is how I look right now. I still got a, a pooch right here. You know, so I'm going to show you my at least five. I'm going to see how many push-ups I can do here. And you evaluate them. Tell me if I'm doing them right. Uh, you know, may start out strong. So I'm trying to figure out how to get down here where you can see me clearly and judge my push-ups. Okay? All right, here we go. And then I'll share with you some perfect stuff. Okay, is this a good way? And I'll show you. I can redo it. But let me, I'm going to spread my feet out a little bit. And one, two, three, four, five. All right, I'm going to turn around so you can see it the other way. All right, in case you didn't get that. Can you see me? I hope so. Am I, is my back straight and everything lined up? One. Two, three, four, five. Woo! I know some people start from the floor and push themselves up. I might can do that. I need to bring a mat in here though because this floor is hard on my knees. So I just did 10 push ups, so I've got to do 30 more today. I'm not going to do them all right now. Uh, what I wanted to share with you also, 
some purpose for your life. All right, let me turn you guys around so you can, I can sit down here and talk to you. Okay, you got your purpose driven? You have? Good. If you haven't, you can just, whatever. Okay, the last time I talked about how you could be serving passionately and loving it. Finding that gift you were created for. I know Michael Phelps read this book. He said in one of his um, interviews that it's helped him. And we can see where it says that you were made, you know, and that's probably what he thought about. You know, my son's into swimming and kind of looks up to Michael Phelps and everything. So we're like, you know, his body was created um, for swimming. It, I think, I really believe if you find what you were specifically created to do, everybody's got something specific they were created to do. And when you find that thing, you're going to excel at it. Of course, there's going to be challenges. Michael Phelps even had challenges. He admitted to being um, anxiety and depression and stuff like that for many years. Though he was really successful, he still struggled internally with issues. And um, reading this and everything, um, yeah, if you were wired to do something, this passion drives perfection. And I, you know, because if you don't care about something, you're not going to work very hard at it. So don't waste your life on a job that just doesn't express your heart and everything. Where was it? I saw that about that specific thing, what really made me think of Michael Phelps and everything. So um, I think it was like at the beginning of that, you know. But yeah, he, he was shaped shaped and formed to do that. He carefully mixed the DNA cocktail that created you. So he, he knew every moment. So that made me think of him and for myself, whatever any of us, if we can find that little thing, that one thing, and there's usually only a, a few things that we can really excel at. You know, a lot of us have our hand in this and that and everything and then we're only given 10% of our energy to this and then 25% of our energy to that and then everything you know and so we're spread out so everywhere that we don't have the um, focus and energy to give a hundred percent and I know there's a few things in my life there are certain things that I'm like wow I wish I had the if I had the money and and time I could think of a million things to improve this particular area that I'm serving in. And I just, you're just overwhelmed with a bunch of stuff and you're throwing yourself out, casting yourself out into everywhere. And that you just don't, you're not putting in 100% anywhere. And just think, if you find, think about that, think about that for a moment. If you, could give a hundred percent to just think of one thing that you're doing in your life whether it's teaching school whether it's um driving a truck you know anything i mean just think about anything that you're doing just whatever it is parenting if you could put forth a hundred percent you didn't have to think about all these other activities that you're involved in you know think about how things would change, how that, that area would be better. I'm going to move this over a little bit. I feel like my um, face looks really bad. I have it flipped where I can see the... All right, I look a little brighter, maybe. Um, I feel like my under my eyes always look bad. Okay, so we've already talked about that. So I'm going to move on. Um, understanding your shape is day 31. Understanding your shape. You know, so... I'm not going to stay all over it. I'm not going to go over the whole thing. you got to get the book or whatever. I want to get the DVD and watch it. All of our abilities come from God. What 
I am able to do, God wants me to do, <sighs> your personality. He, he cares about what kind of person you are. Some people may not have the personality to um, be, you know, a performer in front of a group or something. But, you know, for me, I've always enjoyed, like, certain things. But I'm not, for some reason, I'm just not good at it, I guess. And it just, I'm not, like, sales. Or even these YouTube videos. Am I really good at it? Probably not. I'm not getting a whole lot of views. If you're viewing this, I appreciate it. You're really support Those few that do watch this, I'm very grateful for you. I watch other YouTubers, and they, in no time, and within like two to four hours they have several thousands of views just within a couple of hours while I see other YouTube videos posted by other people that may be four or five years old and they still have under a hundred views and I know I've got a lot of videos I think the highest any of my videos have made I made probably what was it I just trimmed my hair, I think, and I got 70 views, maybe, or 40. I'll have to check again, but that's okay. You know, if I don't get any views, at least I'm recording it for posterity, for me, right? And it's kind of holding me accountable, because I know there's that potential that other people will see it, and whatever. So, even God uses your painful experiences, because in your... Though during your pain, you're not thinking how to help other people. But once you've been through it, you could share it with others and everything. So it says here, nobody else can be me. Nobody else can be you. You are created to be you. You can't be somebody else or do somebody else's job. Desire some what other people are doing. You need to be you and be content where you're at. But always consider growing. God has given each of you some special abilities. Be sure to use them to help each other. Passing on the, to others God's many kinds of blessings. 1 Peter 4, 10. A question we need to think about and consider and ask ourselves. What God-given ability or personal experience can I offer to my church or your community? You know, um, things I've been through, the struggles that I've been through, may help other people because I've come out on the other side. Now, from like you know that's watched me before know that I've been homeless in the past many years ago and I am no longer homeless. As you could tell, I have a I'm I've got an empty room here to share with anybody. But um yeah, I've been homeless and everything, but how did I get not homeless may not be the way for everybody else. You know, um, I ended up getting married. I was sleeping on someone's couch. Honestly, I was um, staying with some people, um, taking care of their children for some time. My daughter shared a room with other people's kids, and I slept on their couch and everything, which was really great. You know, I mean, would you still consider that homeless? I don't know. I didn't have one of my own. I was sleep using their couch. And... Um, you know, during that time, I met my husband right now. He had a job. He had a vehicle. Yes. Never marry anyone that doesn't have a vehicle and driver's license and a job. If they don't have a driver's license, vehicle, and a job, don't marry them. Don't even date them, probably. Because, I know, from past experience, I picked someone up at a bar and married him and he didn't have a job or a vehicle or anything or a home so that's kind of was that's the way it was so I've learned from my mistakes and I hope you don't have to go through them yourself and if you are going through that if you haven't technically married them yet maybe walk away walk away and it will be a growing experience for that person as well. They'll realize, wait, I don't have these things to help the relationship be what it needs to be. 
so maybe they'll grow from it you know hey people grow from their from things like that it, you may you'll grow but the other person that you walk away from may grow from it because I've seen this happen a few times in other times of my life where you know even as a high school student when I was in high school you know I was doing very poorly but I was all in school during one year and I was in a relationship with someone that was not a good person to um, he was probably good at heart but he just didn't uh, go to school he didn't like going to school so he didn't and when after I broke up with him you know he started going to school so yeah that could happen and you could be helping them by breaking up with them and seriously if you're a woman and you've been giving a guy everything you've got and but he's never even offered to marry you really or made that commitment you don't need to be giving him you're just giving him a free ride and he has no commitment and he can walk away anytime he wants without thinking about a divorce all right so i would definitely highly recommend you think about your purpose and go for your dreams and goals and like i said mine mine is i'm gonna i'm gonna see this week i'm gonna see what i can do with this body this week i'm gonna take some measurements tomorrow tomorrow's measurement monday and it's probably gonna be about the same i'm kind of nervous about that because i just went OD'd on sugar the other day on Saturday. So I'm going to try my very best to be focused, not go for the sugary stuff or the flowery stuff this week. And see, because eight days, eight days away, can you believe it? And I'm going to be another year older or whatever you want to call it. And I want to get where I didn't want to go you know I want to see what I could do you know I watch these videos and just so it motivates me to watch some of your videos if you do YouTube videos too it really motivates me sometimes watching certain people's videos that really kind of makes me think oh yeah I, we, I could do this if I buckle down I can do this I can reach them goals whether it's uh, physical goals or my spiritual goals or my um, relationship goals oh one thing our pastor preached on this morning oh my gosh the thing that stood out the most he said said uh, we are just think about that we are just like in the purpose driven life we are created to serve and do something specific so Oh, it's already been 18 minutes. And if you've gone this far in my video, congratulations. You're an awesome person and I really appreciate it. I know, I know that I'm not as perky as some of them I watch on YouTube. But, you know, I am who I am. I can't be somebody else. Be who you are, even on YouTube. Be who you are. And you never know who you might reach with your story and share your story. Yep, I'm going to let you go, and you saw my push-ups, so evaluate those. Tell me in the comments below what you thought of them, or if you like, if you think I did a good job on my push-ups, give me a thumbs up for that. And if I, if I see thumbs up, then that tells me I must have done them right. So I've got 30 more push-ups to do today, and work on some assisted pull-up, or some uh, pull-up attempts and such. So we are going to check out for now, and I am so glad. I will see you. I'll upload this later, so I'll see you later. Have a great rest of the weekend, and I'll see you tomorrow.